Hey everybody, we are teaching tilt brush. And this particular tilt brush episode is about exporting your work and importing your work to other programs. Now this particular lesson kind of excludes Quest, I'm sorry to say. So Quest users, go ahead and load in another lesson and learn about more, because unfortunately this one's gonna be using the PC's folder library to be able to export icons and sketches and stuff so people who use 3D programs like Blender and Unity can actually use sketch information to build game levels or larger pieces or to add color and texture to models, that type of stuff. So today's lesson is going to be about bringing your tilt brush experience into other programs. Now what makes this possible on PC? When you load up Tilt Brush, if you look in your Documents folder, in whatever user you're using, it's actually going to make a Tilt Brush folder in there. And here's how I remember Tilt Brush is two words, because it actually makes the folder as two words with a space, so there. So in this folder, it's going to have things that you can both bring into Tilt Brush and save from Tilt Brush into other methods. This is specific for the PC version. So if you are using the Quest, it's not going to work this way. I, I do apologize. Enjoy other lessons. So in here, Media Library has a folder for images, a folder for models, and a folder for sketches. That's how we can get one way to get things in and out of Tilt Brush. If I was to save a screenshot, screenshots folder, if I was to save a video, videos folder. So this really is where we're gonna keep everything on the PC. So make sure you know where that is and whatever user documents you've got, it'll happen automatically. For those of you using multiple drives to store your information, wherever drive you set default for your main My Documents. So if you have a SSD program drive and a data drive where you store everything, do make sure you've got this set up for your data drive so you don't run out of space on your main SSD. So, for those of you who like to work with 3D rendering programs, there is an export function on Labs. So this is not on Quest, but for the PC users, we've got the three dots on our controller, which gives us more options. And that little beaker in the middle is for labs. Kind of hard to screen. There we go. Labs. This is not available for Quest. So our labs screen. Some of the features that we have include connecting to Twitch and YouTube automatically. This little picture dinosaur is for the Pictionary Tiltosaurus game. In here, we've also got our media library. This little folder icon here allows us to look at things like our various models and sketches that are stored in your documents folder. Tilt Brush Media Library has the place for models and images. If you copy a JPEG into this folder, that's how we can make it available to have available for this Tilt Brush painting. We can also do that with 3D rendered models. Most of these guys are going to be saved as multiple files, things like a JSON file for information, an OBJ file for the actual model object, that type of thing. All of those get dumped into this folder with the same name. In this case, we have an Andy set of objects. So when I load that in, it actually brings in that as a model into the environment. But anything we bring in, you can see now here, it's the Android Andy. This includes the texture, this includes the shape. It all comes in as one piece. So I can expand it or shrink it, move it around, duplicate it, whatever you want. It is considered a single object. Throw it away. Work me here if you don't want it anymore. So that's one way to get these pieces into it. You can see it actually then puts that model into the panel itself so you can tell which one you're talking about. Get these out of the way. So this is using your local media to bring things in. We can also save things, export things. 
part of this panel. This will actually take your sketch and save it as a 3D object set. And that little falling icon means it has finished. Fortunately, I've got a very simple sketch here, but if I do have a large elaborate piece, that could take a little while, depending on your computer. So that is how we can actually take this and save it. That set of objects can be imported into most 3D pieces. Maybe you'll want to make a subfolder to keep it all together, but by giving it that export, we now have this new object we can use in other locations. Once we've remixed it and worked it with the 3D program, we can then go back into our local media library and bring it in as a model and bring it back into this sketch or other sketches. Go away. There we go. Finally, on PC, the spectator camera is just a way to get a third-person camera, sort of like what you guys have on my sketches while these do these classes. But this is a way you can set up another viewpoint. What do you want people to use when they look at your sketch? But really, we're focusing on this local media library to bring things in, and this export to take what I've created and make it usable in other environments. This is using the labs, part of this other section, more options on your controller, that's only available for the PC versions of Tilt Brush. As you can see, we can connect to YouTube chat and stuff like that as well. Whoops, I accidentally stuck it in. Remember, this panel, like any other panel, can be added to your controller if it is a panel you use a lot. Any panel you create, so if I like bringing in lots of pictures, I can bring up that local media library and actually add this panel to my controller. So whenever I use Tilt Brush, I can quickly get into whatever pieces I want. I don't actually use it very much, so I'm going to get rid of it. Go away. Go away. So that's today's using Tilt Brush to actually export sketches and things into the computer so that you can bring it into other programs, 3D modeling, video game design, that type of stuff. Most of it is done using the labs option. Importing is a matter of saving it in your documents, tilt brush, media library, whether it's a model, a sketch, or an image. Saving it out is the export option to save it into that folder. Now I can get that, copy it, put it on a flash drive, give it to somebody who does a lot of 3D modeling, and they can take my work and incorporate it into a game or a video or whatever it is we're working with. So Tilt Brush on PC is versatile enough to be able to work with other programs and share this information otherwise. Quest users, you can use Poly to do this as an extra step. So a Quest user could save their sketch to Poly, and then the PC user likes it, loads it, exports it for use. So you're not left out completely, but there's a way to use export and share information about. I hope this is gonna be useful for you guys, especially for the artists working with 3D designers and stuff. You can really get stuff going, sharing stuff back and forth, and adding artistic design rather than just copy-paste textures, that type of stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Send me links to the creations you've done, and we'll see you in more tilting uh, tilt brush and teaching tilt brush. Thanks a lot, and have fun, everybody.